All right, so we're talking about trusses, uh, right? Roof trusses or bridge trusses. Um, a frame that's made of only two force members, right? Frames that's, ma that's made up of all these members, and all these members are either in tension or compression. Uh, now, we've been talking about method of joints that said, hey, the whole uh, truss is in equilibrium and every joint is in equilibrium. So what we would do is we would look at the whole thing, you know, maybe solve for like an AY and an AX, at that pin, maybe solve for like a GY. So we look at the whole thing in equilibrium. Some of the force in the X equals zero, some of the force in Y equals zero, some of the moments equals zero. And then we would say, okay, every joint is in equilibrium. So I look at joint G, then I hop to joint uh, H, then I hop to joint F, then I hop to joint I, I hop to joint E. All right, uh, but what if you got a really big truss and you want to know the force of, you know, a, a member kind of in the middle? If we did method of joints, and we still could. If we did method of joints, it might take a while to get there. There's a better method, all right? There's a better method for large trusses where you kind of want to know the force in one of the kind of middle parts of the truss, and that's the method of sections, all right? So today's about the method of sections. The method of sections says that the whole truss is still in equilibrium. So we can still look at the whole free body diagram and some of the forces in X, some of the forces in Y, and some of the moments. But now, instead of looking at joints, we can look at sections, right? This is a method of sections, that makes sense. We can say every section is in equilibrium, all right? So we could say uh, this, this portion of it right here is a section, it's in equilibrium. I can draw the free body diagram just of that section, or any section that we want. And for that section, the sum of the forces, right? If it's in equilibrium, if it's not accelerating in X, if it's not accelerating in Y, if it's not rotating, then the sum of all those equilibrium equations is, is equal to zero. So here's the method of sections. Look at the whole free body diagram. All right, we just, we just said that. Look at the whole free body diagram. Sum of the forces in X equals zero. Sum of the forces in Y equals zero. Sum of the moments about any point is equal to zero. And then we're going to cut through the members you wish to solve for. Uh, and when you cut through them, or you kind of open them up, uh, you, you're kind of exposing, exposing their internal forces. You are exposing their internal forces. And then you can look at either the left half or the right half, um, or you could cut it up, down. You can make any type of cut you want, but anyway, look at one side or the other, and replace those cut members with their forces, right? Replace those cut members with their forces. I always like to assume, I like to guess tension. I like to guess that all those forces that I cut through were in tension, so they're pulling on my section, right? I'm going to draw a free body diagram of that section. Um, and look at the section's free body diagram, for that section, some of the forces in X, some of the forces in Y, some of the moments about zero. Uh, th don't try to look at, when you cut it, you can look at either the left half or the right half. Don't try to look at both. Uh, you can kind of throw away the other side, the other half. It doesn't matter what forces were on that other half that you, you're not looking at, you're throwing away. Uh, just, just only look at one section. At the very end, after you have solved your problem, you could actually go back and look at the other side, uh, and you would get the same answers, you know? So if you cut it, and you kept the right half of it, and I cut it, and I kept the left half of it, we would get the exact same answers for those uh, members, for the force in those members that we cut through, okay? So, whole free body diagram, sum the forces and moments, cut it, throw away half of it and keep half of it and then those members that you cut through draw their forces I like to guess that those forces that you cut through were in tension and then you can solve for those forces if you can cut through three members that's a good sign because you can solve your three equations you can solve for those three uh, unknowns okay so this is method of sections for trusses let's uh, practice with some problems. How about that?